When we recently took a look at the G case from Plenbo, it was one of those that it really caught us off guard with the number of different features that it had packed into it. It's a three in one design that allows you to play in handheld or tabletop mode or even connect it to a dock. Well, sort of. See, included in with the GK sample that Plembo sent us was this guy here. This is their one dock, and this is an all-in-one docking solution designed for the Nintendo Switch. It eliminates the big bulky dock that the Switch comes with and allows you to connect to a TV with this tiny little adapter. Hey everyone, Gary here from Rock Solid Productions. Thanks for stopping by and checking out our episode that we have here today. I really do appreciate it. Now, if you want to check out our review of the G-Case, I'll have a link for you right up there where you can go ahead and check it out. We did give you a quick look at the one dock in that video, but we're going to do more of a deep dive into it here because it's something that really is pretty awesome. And I know there are a few others of these out there. I wanna see how this stacks up and just how well that it works. So let's take a closer look on the bench and then we're gonna to get to some gameplay. Now, what I wanna know before we do that, would you consider picking up a travel dock that was this small and compact? Does this have a whole lot of interest to you? Let me know down below in the comment section. Let's get a closer look at this. So this is really a neat, small, and compact all-in-one device. So looking on the back here, we have a USB-C port, a USB 3.0 port, and HDMI. And to connect this to your Switch, all you have to do, well, first of all, to, to make it work, all you have to do, swing that out, plug that into an AC power source, that's done. Connect your HDMI cable from here to your television, or capture card, wherever you're gonna utilize. Utilize the included USB-C to C cable to go from here to the back of the switch. Now, one thing I am going to do is I do wanna test out if on the back of the G-Grip here, it does have a USB-C port. I wanna see if that passes through data as well or if that is only for charging. So we will verify that here. And then this USB 3.0 port, what's nice about this is you can use this with other accessories. So if you have a wired controller, uh, say your controller just dies and you need to charge it while you're using it or you can connect a cable to charge accessories that you can use wirelessly say you're spending an overnight in a hotel um, overall a lot of features packed into this which I really really like so now what we're gonna do it's about all that there is to this let's see how it looks we're gonna capture some gameplay footage as you can see right here the G case works perfectly with the one dock one final thing no, I am not using the dog controller to test this out. That thing's crap. Check out that video right up there to see more. And, and let's dive into some Yaya yeah, yeah, Beavis. Now, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to close it real quick because I've heard, and I'm going to try to see, there is a way, there's a hidden code John put in this game. If you're not familiar, Yaya yeah, yeah, Beavis 2 from John Riggs, um, good friend of the channel. Um, yeah. Make sure that you check out, it's available on the Switch, on the NES, and actually on the Dreamcast as well. Here you can see the hack you can play with rigs with a spoon, rigs with a soldering iron. I'm gonna go with the soldering iron on this one. And there we are playing as the one and only John Riggs. And we are using a soldering, not soldering iron. I think this looks great. I mean, I'm not seeing any difference here between this and my regular um, Switch dock, which is great. and. I mean, granted, this is a pretty simplistic game, but not feeling any lag or latency at this point. Plays just fine with that. You know, I've actually been getting back into Super Mario Odyssey. We're going to dive into this real quick. Even though it's a four-year-old game at this point, 2018, I think it came out, um, still beautiful, still a game I absolutely love to play. And it sounds great. It looks great. It just... Mwah. so much better than Breath of the Wild. So now I have actually beaten the game at this point, but we're going through and playing and getting some of the extra moons and everything. Yeah, I mean, everything looks again and is playing great on this. Um, I'm not seeing any visual issues whatsoever, which is, I mean, I, I don't think that we're going to see many at this point uh, from these types of solutions, adapters, docks. But it's always nice to see when you do have, you know, have that reassertion that yes, it is going to work just as it should. <gasps> what do we have here? All right, we'll talk to you. Let's see if we can beat him before we move on to the next game. It's pretty much back at the beginning, it looks like.
I tried to cheat and I couldn't get it. Ah, dang it. I finished second, though. That was not bad for the first time that I played that. All right, so what did we get as our reward? Some coins. Okay. All right, let's see what else. Oh, little tip. If you have a Switch, you can actually play movies on it. Go to YouTube. Go to... Well, here, we'll just show you real quick. Although I'm not going to play any content. So go down to Movies and Shows. And you can see, you know, you have free-to-watch shows here, uh, YouTube Originals, but you also have uh, Library is under Library, My Videos, nope. Your Movies and Shows, that's where it is. So here you can see some of the movies that I've purchased through Google Play. Shows up right here, just fine. Looks beautiful. Now, to this point, I don't think you can download them. Let me just double-check. Nope. Cannot download, so uh, just something of note. So anytime you go through a third-party dock, one thing that may be a concern is lag, latency, delay. Street Fighter 2 is an excellent example of a game you can use to test and see what the responsiveness is like. Ryu versus Ken, so this will be interesting. Oh, nice reversal by Ken. Got him there. This is going to be a close fight, I think. Ooh, nice reversal there. Let's see if we can... Oh, he got me instead. Right in the taint. Oh, that was a close fight. All right, one... Well, two more if we're going to try to win. And that was... He just outfought me. Damn. A little bit of slowdown there. Oh, I lost to Ken. All right, that was not the doc's fault. That was me just, oh, uh, Ken just kicked my butt. So up next, we are going to check out Tanuki Justice. This is one of my new favorite games. It is, it is a love letter, to me at least, to the Sega Genesis more than anything else. Um, it is hard. We're gonna go to level two. Yeah, I mean, look at the scrolling backgrounds and everything. It looks great. And I'm hoping, oof, I'm hoping I don't suck like I have been playing this lately. Um, there we go. There we got the extra life. I was forgetting the fact that I can double jump on here. Oh, he got me again. It's been probably two weeks since I've played this. And this is one of those games that muscle memory is definitely your friend. Yeah, we didn't defeat him there, which means we'll have some more problems coming up here. Ugh. Yep. Let's dive into some R-Type Final 2. This is... It's a great shooter. It looks beautiful. It plays great. It's hard as hell. It's just fun. Um, it's that it's that NES hard. Um, I think that they have really done a good job of kind of bringing that back to the forefront. I love the way that this feels like such a natural evolution to the original series of our type. Um, it it looks and plays right if that makes sense. Um, and it sounds great, too. I mean, this is just... It is a terrific, terrific game. I mean, just look at everything that's going on on screen, and it still gives you that feel of the original game. I mean, the colors on here are bright and vibrant. I'm, I'm liking what I'm feeling. I'm loving what I'm playing. To me, if you handed me a controller and just said... You know, are you using a third party or an OEM dock? I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. This is looking and playing great. Now, it may look and play or look and feel a little bit different to what I'm capturing, but with what I'm actually experienced here gameplay wise, it's terrific. So, what did they get right about this? Why does this rock? Well, first and foremost, I mean, it. It just, it's a simple and elegant solution for the Nintendo Switch. It simply works, and in the end, that's all you can really ask for. It delivers 
everything that you want from a gameplay experience. No lag, no latency, no delay built into it, which is wonderful. I mean, that's that's one of the frustrating things is if you buy a, a third-party dock, and it's like, well, it doesn't do as well as the original one. It 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 lags, it slows down, it it's missing button presses, or I'm hitting. I'm having to adjust how I play because it's not reading my button presses in an appropriate amount of time. So I think you'll agree that this is a pretty amazing little travel dock and it works incredibly well. Now, one thing, and I hate that I have to say this, but I kind of have to say this. The one dock, any other travel dock, any adapter, there is no way whatsoever to get the Nintendo Switch Lite to work with your modern TV. Nintendo has disabled that at a hardware level on the board. Not bring that back. It just can't happen. Uh, but this is incredible for the size, the weight, and just the consistent performance. That's what I really like about it is I plug in a place. It's wonderful. It's everything that I'm looking for. And talking to them so far in my trials and everything, this is excellent. And if you're looking for a portable travel charger, this is something you should definitely consider. And they are offering it as one of their reward tiers. If you do back the G-Grip, on their Kickstarter, which is really, really exciting. And if you haven't, again, if you haven't checked this out, this thing is really awesome with everything that it does. It just, yeah, it's one of the best cases I've ever used for the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you do want to go ahead and pick one of these up, I will have a link down below to that Kickstarter where you can go ahead and check it out. If you do want to check out our original review of the G case, of other cases that we've done here of the Switch and the Switch OLED, those videos are coming up for you right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk, and Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to CastlemaniaGames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID10 when you're shopping at CastlemaniaGames.com, as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode, and I cannot wait to see you again soon.